For the first triangle, one possible name would be triangle XYZ. This triangle, first we want based on sides. This triangle has three different sides, so it is a scalene triangle. And then based on angles, we see our triangle is 50 degrees, 90 degrees, and so the last angle must be 40 degrees, giving us three different angles, but one of them is a right angle, so this is a right triangle. Okay, for our next one, a possible name is triangle SNO. Looking at sides, we have three congruent sides as evidenced by these three tick marks, making this triangle an equilateral triangle. We also notice that we have three congruent angles as evidenced again by tick marks, making the triangle also equiangular. Together, that the triangle is equilateral and equiangular means we have a regular triangle. So triangle SNO is a regular triangle. Lastly, we have triangle CAT. Looking at the sides of CAT, we have two congruent sides and one that's not congruent which makes this triangle isosceles. Then looking at angles, we have 30 degrees, 30 degrees, meaning this top angle is 120 degrees, and the triangle is obtuse, because we have that one obtuse angle. Okay. This brings us to theorem 4.1, and we've kind of been using this all along. It's probably something you've seen prior to starting geometry. And what this theorem tells us is that the sum of the measure of the interior angles of, triangle, of a triangle is 180 degrees. So given any triangle, doesn't matter what its shape is, as long as it's a triangle, we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. Also, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. And finally, that the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle F also equals 180 degrees. And this is true for any given triangle. So let's look at an example. Example below, you're given two different triangles. We'll say triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F. Take a moment for triangle A, B, C, solve for X, and for triangle D, E, F, I want you to solve for Y. Pause the video if you need to, and then resume when you're ready to see the solution. For both of these, we'll use the theorem that we just learned, and that's the triangle sum theorem. And that tells us that for triangle A, B, C, X, plus 3x plus 60 must equal 180. Simplifying, we get 4x plus 60 equals 180. 4x equals 120, meaning that x equals 30. Okay, for triangle DEF, remember a right angle implies 90 degrees, so we have 3y plus 2 plus 90 plus y equals 180. By simplifying, we get 4y plus 92 equals 180. 4y equals 88. y equals 22. Hopefully, you found both those solutions. If not, go back, double check your math, match it with the video, and make sure that the solutions do make sense.